nowhere already inside the jungle, and Wabadub's gonna go down to the half dragon. Oh, Turtle gets hooked in! Oh, no, that is not what you wanted! Beautiful hit by especially. That's the Nexus turret. Cloud9 is gonna take the win. Complexity are a brand new LCS team. He goes for it, he got oh, it! Oh, he gets Stupid. it! Stupid coming up huge with the Cosmic Smite! TSM is beautifully focusing on whoever they need. Smiles all around for COD right there. Guten Tag and welcome to the third day of our Super Week rollout of the 2014 Summer Split. We're bringing you our live coverage of the North in front of this energized audience from our broadcast home in Los Angeles, California. We've grouped up for a team engaged to start our final day of Super Week. Hello, I'm Rivington Pizzin the third, and I am joined by the brain trust of the NALCS broadcast team. Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler, Joshua Jet Leesman, and David Freak Turley. Gentlemen, good to be on the same desk together. Guys, we came into this split with a big expectations, and so far it is definitely game on. Let's start with LMQ going off to a 3-0 start on the summer split. It's a pretty good share for first place for them. Yeah, LMQ has impressed a lot of people so far. Honestly, their toughest game was against CLG, where they had a very close game. They made big plays when they needed to, but they were definitely behind in that game, and there are many opportunities for them to lose. I think they're going to come out of this week 4-0, which will make everyone think they're kind of top team in the NA, but I think they still have a lot of proving to do as they face tougher and tougher opponents. I think they definitely do, and speaking of facing tougher opponents, the fact that they came out of the challenger scene, they've actually looked better relatively than they did even back then. You kind of you kind of figure the scale of competition has gone up since joining the LCS, but Ackerman's dominating even more than before. The team as a whole, you mentioned that CLG game, the good shot calling, the good decision making there. They're looking much better week after week. Yeah, they are, and it's not only the individual players. Yes, everybody loves Shao Shao on this Yasuo, but. The biggest hang-up for me is that coming into the split, everyone's talking about, oh, there's so many changes, roster changes in the North American LCS. These teams are going to have a slow start. Cloud9 is the only team coming in with an unchanged roster. People forget about LMQ. They've been playing together for months. They all came over together from China, and it shows in their team play. This is a very cohesive group of guys. Now, switching to the team that they share first with, a name that many people wouldn't have said right off the bat, Dignitas. Already, their roster swaps have paid quick dividends to start off the split. What do you guys think? Yeah, the solo lanes, talk about solo lanes. I mean, they start out the laning phase very strong, this team. And they said that their problems towards the mid game and late game shot calling are easily fixed. And they already feel like they're fine and they've covered up those problems. However, shot calling in this uh, meta has shifted so heavily towards planning and away from reactive shot calling coming from everyone. I mean, if you want to compete, especially on an international level, you can't afford to just rely on reactive shot calling anymore. SKT will kill off three minions of a bottom wave and then wait for two minutes until it crashes into your turret, at which point they already have five men on the other side of the map pressuring you. So you have to have a single person who's planning these attacks in the future and not just relying on reactive calling. Yeah, and honestly, a lot of Diggs' holes got filled, actually, by the fact that they've got a really, really good top lane mid laner. I know some guys were saying online that uh, the roster stops wouldn't solve any of Diggs' problems, but the fact is, Crumbs has been amazing. He's been buying a ton of wards, even back in last split and splits before, and now that he's got winning lanes, those wards go into the enemy jungle instead of their own jungle trying to defend themselves, and this allows so many more plays for Digg where they can keep forcing advantages, and it's working so well for them. Yeah, Crumbs bought 54 sight wards, or stealth wards, and 19 pink wards in three games. That's an absurd amount of vision, but yeah. the big thing for Dignitas, I think, is going to be consistency, even already. Almost lost that game to EG before crushing Cloud9. And every split, it seems like Dignitas goes on a 9 or 10 game winning streak and then matches it with an equally long losing streak. So they have to stay consistent, even with this improved roster. Can't fall back into those ruts. Let's move forward here. That brings us to the two-time defending champs, Cloud9. And while one loss doesn't warrant a sky is falling mentality here, gentlemen, they haven't looked like themselves. Exactly. It doesn't matter that they've won or lost the games. And like, yes, they beat TSM. 
And it was like a fairly convincing win against TSM, but this is a TSM with a changed roster. And the game was still slow, and it looked afraid for Cloud9. They actually, this kind of happened at the beginning of the last split as well, where their first lock to dig was this very afraid game where they weren't making any moves. Right now, it seems like C9 aren't really together right now. They're not firing very quickly. It seems like they're not really planning moves forward, and they're getting kind of walked over in a lot of cases. But let's be fair. Cloud9 is a team that's coming off of injury. Hai was not really able to play much League of Legends while he was hospitalized there with his medical problems, and they are just coming back from playing with Link as well. Cloud9 had a tough schedule. It gets easier from here. I think they're going to improve and be just fine. I definitely agree with you. I think Cloud9 will look better in the future, not only because of the injury, um, but also because they're getting used to working with that pivotal shot caller once again. They had Link before, and they tried to put him into the position where he's making a lot of these calls and, and planning things. And it just it's so different when you move someone else in a crucial spot like that on your team. All right, with that quick look at the teams, let's take a look at how the standings shape up after two days of matches. In the top spot, it's Team Dignitas and LMQ, with Counter Logic Gaming and Team Solomid and Hot Pursuit in second place. And take a look now, because you won't see this very often, Cloud9 is in fifth place, while Curse, Complexity, and EG are still looking for that first win of the split. And that brings us to today's schedule. Up first, it's LMQ versus Curse. Then Cloud9 takes on Complexity. After that, Evil Geniuses and TSM score off in our third match, followed by Curse battling it out with Dignitas, and then CLG versus Cloud9 in our epic final match of week one. And now let's look back at the plays that you were calling out on Twitter with the hashtag LCS Big Plays. Yeah, our first tweet comes from Dignitas versus EG and highlights Snoopy Smite Steal at Baron. At Sarachnos says that smite from Snoopy was incredible. Ward an instant dive for the steal. Here's your number three. Just finishing the Phantom Dancer. Now the fast. critical cloak coming in there to give him a little bit more attack crit. He goes for it, he got oh, it! He gets it! Snoopy coming up huge with the Kha'Zix smite! Cutie Pie's in the middle! He's gonna be going down! Whoa. Dignitas could have just solidified this one and Baron for themselves. This will at least be another turret coming in here for Evil Geniuses. The most impressive thing about this to me is the timing. He has a split second after he places the ward to click on Baron, look at the health, jump in, and smite right after Crumbs uses his smite. Because Crumbs also smote a little bit early there. Yeah. Just really good play uh, there from Snoopy to get them back in the game. But now it is back to the Baron pit for number two. This is an upset of the day. Dignitas versus Cloud9. At You Got Mad tweets, Kiwi Kid's Zyra play around the Baron pit was incredible. That ult secured the win then and there. Here's your number two. All right, well, the Dignitas there and the attempt is there. Twitch is still bottling. TF ulti pop to reveal everybody. Meteos does have flash. There's the ulti in. It stops the Meteos sleep. He can't get back out. Nice fight right there. The ulti from Kiwi could clutch, though. Yeah, the ulti from Kiwi could was clutch right there. I feel like you said that Deja before. vu. What? Yeah, I <laughs> called it right during the game, guys. I got to... Hashtag LCS big calls. All right. Our last one comes from TSM versus Curse, though. At Know Who Lol tweets that silence on the Voy Boy saved TSM the fight. No Yasuo ult on three members of TSM. GG Soraka. Bjergsen's your number one. Yeah, this yeah. is some good poke and just push right now. The disengage. Voy Boy goes down. Voy Boy flashes. He goes straight into the fight. The Strangle Thorn goes down, but they're already on the other side. Quas is getting big damage to they him. Can't kill can Turtle. They make it. Turtle gets a few more shots. He throws down. No, the hack. Stricker comes on, keeps himself alive as well for any extra damage of AP on the outside, and they keep going. Turtle finally going down in the end. Expecial's gonna get hit up, and somehow TSM kites the fight and pulls it out. <laughs> Just when you think you have the upper hand. <laughs> Remember to share on Twitter your favorite plays of the day using hashtag LCSBigPlays. We are at LOL Esports. Now, we want to get your thoughts on our Twitter question of the day. And we're going to go for the big picture. Who's going to win the 2014 Summer Split and why? Write us at LO Esports and use the hashtag LCS. We'll highlight a few of your answers later in the show. All right, we've got to take a quick break. But when we come back, we'll get the games going with our first match. LMQ versus Curse. Don't click away. Last few risk missing a single LCS big play. <laughs> 